casserole here. And I have the first part of the estate sale that I showed you guys previously. I um, have a couple of bags. So, let's see. So it was kind of the same thing. I got some things from the case here and some things from the table. It was also it was also very stressful. So sometimes I feel like I make the wrong decisions because it just can be very difficult sometimes when you you know there's a lot of people and you're just kind of trying to pick things out. It can be very tough, tough for me. Um, I get very anxious and I don't know. I don't know if other people feel the same way or if I'm crazy, but you know, so for the things that I bought that I maybe, maybe I wouldn't have bought that first day. Um, this is one of them. So it's $20. And this was the first day, so it was actually $20. I mean, it is really cool. Sometimes they have sterling silver tops. This definitely is not sterling silver. It is still pretty cool. It's a clamper bracelet. It's got a really nice style to it. Um, I just, I don't know, you know, if that's something that I would get for the $20 again, if I was able to make another decision, but I think it is pretty cool. And so it's not like it was terrible. This one was 20. This is the other one that I'm like maybe well there's three things three things that i i was thinking about maybe i wouldn't have gotten let me see because this one is marked it's definitely marked italy but it had another marking i think like alp or ald italy I'm just taking out my loop and trying to trying to see. So something like that, ALP. And this is a nice though Etruscan style. Italy bracelet. I don't I don't know if it's like like I said, sometimes they're sterling tops and the backs and things are not. It does say Italy, so that's nice too. That's a nice clue. Um, it's a really neat bracelet though, right? So again, all of this stuff will be the actual prices that I paid. This one, it says sterling, sterling top. So it is also like the sash buckle like the other ones I got and I believe this one is ten dollars look at how beautiful it is with the the sterling silver top and it, it is older so it's really nice and that's why I said there was definitely some sterling that was Kind of spread along. Uh, one of the things I did not get was there was um, bunches of bags of jewelry. They were $50 each. So I was thinking about it. And then when I turned around, somebody else had already bought all of them. <laughs> except for one. So I do have one bag. Um, so that's a decision that I would have done differently. I probably would have grabbed at least four 
of those bags. This is neat. I don't know what character this is. It is not marked on the back, but it definitely looks handmade. And I'm pretty sure this one is sterling silver, Native American. And that was $10, so not bad. Uh, there were several clip-on earrings I got. Like I said, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did say all of the like Venetian glass or Murano glass. I think these are mostly Venetian glass. Um, I saw, I grabbed. These I thought were such a cool shape. I don't think these ones were, they, they might be marked, let me see. Italy. I think it's just like made in Italy. So they have, they have the adventuring and they're that beautiful blue color. These are amazing. They kind of go with the one from yesterday that I got. They're definitely older clip-on earrings. Tons of adventuring in these. I think these were $10 each or something. And then these ones are so beautiful. It's the same thing with Italy. Oh, here's the other one. Beautiful wedding cake bead. Clip on the earrings. Absolutely gorgeous. I love those. These, I believe, are marked Sterling, Mexico. And they're carved amethyst and sterling. Which I liked because I don't see the amethyst very often. So, I thought those were great. And then the drama and comedy mask. These I believe are also marked. Tesco 925 Sterling BD DB3. So I thought those were pretty great. Cufflinks. Mm -hmm. These were lovely. This was $10. And I did pay the 10, because like I said, it's first day. But this is in such great condition. Look at the fridge on here. Beautiful cut crystal. And there's a whole bunch. This one I think is a glass bead. Um, I always love these ones that look like candy. Beautiful um, colors. This is heavy. I love the green and the blue shades with the hook clasp. This is in perfect condition. Oops. Absolutely perfect condition. I think this is such a stunning, nice um, glass necklace. Da, 
da, da. Let's see. This one. I have something else in there that's stuck. This was 12. Ooh, that's not good. The C clasp is a little. Tenuous. Oh, I think it's okay. Okay. It is marked Genuine Cloisonne, which I've never seen that. I always thought this was uh, more guilloche enamel. Um, but either way, it's enamel. In per absolutely perfect condition. Beautiful colors. And super feminine. It's that, that same colorway, the blue and the green beautiful colorway. This one was also $10. I thought this was so sweet and flirty and feminine. It is a little scratched and one of them right here is a little cracked, but I don't really mind that. I'll just end up keeping it um, instead of selling it, I think, because it's not perfect. It's got a little bit of scratches, like see here, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. It's so cool how they made this on uh, both sides. I have not seen one with the clear glass like that. And it's it's graduated, has a spring ring clasp. It is just so cute and flirty and feminine, like I said. <sighs> I did go to a different sale as well. Let me see, this one has a little straggler on here. paid $10 for everything I got at this sale. I don't know what this says. I don't think it's in English. It looks kind of like Greek to me. That's upside down. Uh, maybe it's I-X-T-A-S-I-A. And this said EXT up here. But this is definitely a real cameo. And I think they are also real pearls, real coral. And I think it's gold filled. There is no signature anywhere that I could see. But it's really well made. It's a high quality necklace. Very different. I also got this there as well. Actually, I think that was where I got the comedy earrings too. <laughs> so this one's pretty fun actually. This is 925. Okay. Oh, I also got these there. I don't think They're gold or anything, but I didn't pay a lot. And they're definitely real pearls. And they're just really sweet. So I bought those too, cause they weren't very expensive. This was only $5. It's, this one's definitely Victorian. Sterling silver, I would say. It's got the tube hinge and the C clasp. Just because something's Victorian doesn't mean that it is a real amethyst because they also put stuff in glass. But let me just see if I see. I 
I don't see any air bubbles. There is, I think I might see inclusions. This is just really a fun shamrock. Shamrocks are the three, right? Clovers, I forget. But it, it's so pretty. And these are such pretty color. So that was my thing. I went straight to the table that had everything kind of loose at the tables instead of going to the case or going to the bags. Um, this was from the other estate sale that I went to. Um, opalite, opaline glass, clear glass with the red. And this one's older. It's got that spring ring clasp, older spring ring clasp. Very pretty though. <laughs> All right. So this one was the second sale that they had at this house. And the first sale that they had, they had this purse there. It is amazingly has all of the fringe beads. I almost got this purse the first when I went the first that week because I thought it was pretty nice. I can't remember if this was like this or if somebody broke it because people manhandle things at these places but I think I'm going to try just to put some thread in there so that I don't lose anymore. Maybe just put some tape on. I don't mind because I'm not going to use this for a purse. I'll use it as display. But look inside here. There's like a little pocket. I didn't see if there's anything inside of it. A little coral thing. But I thought that was stunningly beautiful. This is so heavy, guys. These are teeny tiny little seed beads. Really heavy glass seed beads. Beautiful um, roses. And the top. Woo, sorry. <laughs> that was funny. The top has this beautiful scroll pattern. Sorry about that, guys. I'll have to see if I can cut that out. But this was originally 85 which I don't think was a bad price. Um, especially, like I said, with this being intact and... This one's fine, and it's just that one section right here, which I'm going to tape, I think, and just make sure that I don't lose any more beads to it. But the inside is, is in such good condition. This is definitely an old purse. This was 65% off that day. So I can't do the math. 65% off of 85% is not a bad price at all so for that i definitely could not leave that now there's some things in here that i bought because somebody was being rude and i didn't want them to get their way because they were being rude this i thought was a good deal it was 30 dollars so hard to get off sometimes but it is a nicely carved like deeply carved spinach 
bake light. Well, that was, I think, the only bake light one that I got the first day, just because I liked how deeply carved it was. Um, and the nice green color. But I did notice, like I said, I didn't think that a lot of the bake light was selling. This was $20. And it's set in brass. This is a lava cameo, which I thought is interesting because there's this little thing in the back. Um, but I don't really have many. I think I have a ring. The lava cameos are usually decently high relief. This one is not as high as I've seen them. It's pretty high though. And Really cool with the uh, brass. So still really nice. Kind of older lava cameo. I don't know if I would have bought this. The first day either, I don't know. This was $40. I'm sure um, it's worth that. This is marked Sterling, Mexico. And it is two strands. And it's it's pretty pretty long. of beads take you out a little bit on a on a string here graduated pretty far down I've seen some huge ones of these um, so I got that I do think I made better decisions the second day. Oh yeah, this one. This was 30. I got this because of the color. It does have a little um, icon here. I don't know what it's for. Here, I can show you guys. like a tulip thing if you guys can see it so it's not marked but it's got those I know Schreiner makes these crinkle cuts um, it definitely looks to be in really good condition these are so bright white and so are are the stones here. I just thought this was so, so pretty. And I, I love the pink color. They have this as peaking glass. It is not peaking glass. Um, I always, I always say that if it's green and it's kind of like in layers, but it's, it's very pretty and it is glass. This is glass. And then a decently long strand of these beautiful glass beads. It's meant to look like jade. It's very, very nice. And then 
This is one, again, I don't, I don't know that I would want this. <laughs> I don't know. It's beautiful though, the colors, but it was $40. So I don't know. I probably wouldn't have if I had time to think or, um, I usually go through everything before I check out, but that's the hard part. You can't really do that. But these are so pretty. They, um, I think they're Alexandrite glass though. I think that's a thing because you can see the purple blue hue to it. And that's what Alexandrite gemstones, like the actual gem itself look like. And there are, um, synthetics. So I need to look more into it because I really haven't had I don't think I've ever had one. You think so too, Lizzie? Um, so it's more, more the color that stood out to me than anything. And so that's why I grabbed this one. Yeah, if there's anything, cause there, nobody can know everything, right? Um, so I know a lot, I do a lot of research. I do not know everything. I love this piece. This was $20 and it's Mark Sterling Silver. It's a beautiful foxtail chain. Weight chain, one of those two. Um, but it is marked. And then it has this pendant, just like a big chunk of Sterling Silver with this peridot on it. I just thought that was so cool. It's super duper duper heavy. I don't know how some silver is so heavy. Like I think um, Tiffany and company is so heavy. I don't know. Right? It's so cool. This looked like, um, I knew this was Mexico. This is marked 950. Silver Mexico. Um, I cannot remember the name, but I feel like this might be a really good maker. And it's got the beautiful amethysts in them. Um, I can't remember right now the maker that I'm thinking of. One of you guys will probably let me know, but I thought these were really nice for, like I said, $10. These I thought were stunning. I don't think there's any marking on these and I do think they're kind of older. Nope, no marking that I can see. I'm gonna bring you in pretty close. Look at these opals. And then there is gold around the top. They are screw back older earrings. I don't think there's glass underneath. It is open. Whew, almost dropped it. Opals are so... Yeah, right? The For the other ones, there's a famous maker that that's definitely the style. Aren't these amazingly beautiful? I don't think these are synthetic opals. I could be wrong. I think they are quite old. They're just so beautiful. So those were absolutely great for um, $10. Let's see, okay. Grabbed these. 
These were 20. It says Italy 20. Oopsie. <gasps> oh no. No, 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 no. <sighs> I just dropped something and broke it. I really need to be careful. Well, that's five minutes from now's problem. Anyway. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is so pretty. These are all glass. And these are fabulous wedding cake beads with the hook. Decent, decent length too. I've just been breaking things a lot lately. And I like the texture of these. If you guys can see, they have this really interesting texture to them. These are, in, look at how great the caps are. Absolute great condition. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. This one was 20. I don't even know how I did that. 20 dollars. I love this so much. It is marked. Let me see what the marking is. It's a really weird one. It is like half impossible to see this mark. It is, you guys can kind of see it there and there. But it's like, it's impossible. I also don't know what this stone is. Could be that Eliot stone from Israel. This definitely could be. Um, has this really cool chain. I think this is probably either 800 or sterling silver. It's really heavy, really cool piece. Very brutalist. Love that. And then... This one, I feel like this one might need to be, this one is Italy, $15, $15. And I snatched this as soon as I saw it, there was like a bunch of hands. But look at this, the lattice work. These definitely remind you of a wedding cake. I feel like I don't love how this is. I would love it if I had a restrung and it was knotted in between because it's also like really tight. This is old. It's so nice though. So it's graduated from there. And then last but not least, this was $30. This might be my favorite of the whole thing. I am pretty certain that this is an unmarked Miriam Haskell. Look at how the same this spec is from here. 
and it has also hidden all of the wires there like it is here. I would bet $100 on that. There we go. So this is glass. All wired in, frosted glass and regular glass with these cascading down. This was definitely a steal. This one was on the um, on the table. It wasn't in the case. And I didn't know looking from the pictures that the, that's what this was. Um, but when I touched it and felt it, because you can't always tell if something is plastic or glass when you're looking through the pictures. But, oh my goodness, it's just... This is outstanding. And it's just so pretty. I have some Miriam Haskell that is not in very good condition. This is in perfect condition. Um, does not have any of the wear or the green or anything like that. It is so lovely. Like I said, this was the one that I picked up the other day that was signed for half price. Um, kind of can't believe it was still there. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got on the first and second day of this estate sale. Would love to know what you guys thought was the best. If there's anything also, please let me know if there's anything I picked up for the price that you would not have picked up because I wanna know that too. Um, but please like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.